to create demand and supply curves in Excel so that you can see market equilibrium, we need to start with three columns. The first column represents the different prices of our good or service. The second column represents the demand. And so we can see, for example, at a dollar, the quantity demanded is 200. And just like the demand curve, we know the demand curve is downward sloping. We can see that as the price goes up, the amount that people are willing and able to buy goes down. And as the price goes down, the amount people are willing and able to buy goes up. Okay. The third column we have is our supply curve. And it looks at the quantities the business is willing and able to sell at different prices. So we can see that quantity supplied is 45 when the price is a dollar. And that's because at low prices, businesses don't make as much profit. They don't really want to sell as much at low prices. And at higher prices, we can see the amount they are willing and able to sell has increased. So quantity supplied at $15 here in our example is 250 units. This gives us our upward sloping supply curve. To plot demand and supply, first thing we do is highlight the information and we go and we insert a scatter plot. And so that we can see the relationship, we like to have a scatter plot with lines. That way you can see the demand and the supply curve properly. Now notice our graph has numbers between 0 and 16 on the horizontal axes and 0 to 300 on the vertical. Well, when you graph demand and supply, you are looking at how quantities change when you change the price. And when we graph these curves, we want price to be on the vertical. And so the vertical axes should be the 1 to 15. And it's not. So we need to fix this. The easiest way to do this is to right click and select data. Okay. When you go into the select data function, you see here that it has demand and supply as our two series, and then it has the prices for the horizontal axis. So the best way to do this is to simply remove all the information and now you can see our graph has essentially disappeared. So let's rebuild the graph to look like we want it to. We hit the add button and now we can add a series. So let's start first by adding demand and so our series name is demand. You can type in that or you can click on the cell that has that information. And our x values, that's going to be our quantities and so we would highlight the quantity demanded at each of our prices. And then on the vertical axes, we're going to have our prices. And be careful, I have a tendency to double click and that's why I end up with this extra one. So when you hit it, just hit it once. And we can see when I hit OK, we can now see on our graph that we have prices on the vertical, quantities on the horizontal, and we see that downward sloping demand that we were looking for. Let's add supply. Click Add, okay, and if you have lost that menu, right click and do Add Data and then you can go back into it. And so our series name now is going to be Supply. The X values, that's across the horizontal, that's going to be our quantity supplied. And the Y values, that's the vertical, is going to be our prices. And we can see on our graph, as we hit OK to get out of this, we can see we now have a downward sloping demand curve and an upward sloping supply curve. Demand curves and supply curves are not perfectly straight lines, even though we like to make them that way in economics class for simplicity. Uh, in reality, they do have bends to them, but overall demand curves are downward sloping and supply curves are upward sloping and we should be able to see equilibrium, which is where the two intersect.